It breaks my heart every Thanksgiving when I think about how many homeless dogs are out there that often don't get a meal. So today, I'm gonna whip up a delicious Thanksgiving meal for homeless dogs. Here's how I'm able to do this. I'm a pet chef, so I have extensive knowledge in pet nutrition. I have a sponsor for this video that's helping me pull this off, thank you Experian. And I'm pulling together my team and Ty, the founder of Reverse Rescue, and his entire team. And right away, we're gonna jump into the setup. Three, two, one, Barksgiving! Barksgiving, just like Thanksgiving, is all about being grateful and giving thanks. For me, I'm grateful for the unconditional love dogs give. And this is just one way to give back. Okay, but what's the actual meal? These are the Barksgiving meals, and we make these in the bakery. Every year we sell out of these so fast because we make little pot pies, pumpkin pies, even have cornbread for the dogs. So we're gonna get this all laid out right here on the table so that we can start Barksgiving. All right, next, I'm gonna grab Ty. We're gonna jump in the kitchen and make some fresh mashed potatoes and gravy. But before we do that, I wanna go around the table and introduce you to the family. Now, if you're a regular here, good to have you back for another Thanksgiving. And if you're new here, welcome. Would love to have you be a part of this family. Hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Now, this gal right here is Big Mama. In the last video, we made her puppuccinos and we learned about her story, where she was a breeder dog for nine years. She just kept making puppies and they kept taking them away and she was never even given a name. So her nickname right now is Big Mama, but thanks to all your suggestions, Ty was able to come up with a name and he's gonna surprise her with that a little bit later. This little guy right here is Tonka. He came from the same shelter as Big Mama. He was used for years, had no family. You can just see it in those eyes that he is ready to be adopted and ready to have his first ever Thanksgiving. I gave all the dogs assigned seats and I asked them to sit down. And, I, and at first, I thought this giant named Goliath decided to stand at the table, but if you take a closer look, this is what a Great Dane looks like actually sitting. Ty recently rescued Goliath and he's underweight. He needs food. But because he's a senior dog, he doesn't necessarily have an appetite. So I hope this Bark's Giving really awakens his senses and we can help him pack on some pounds. There's Roman. He's deaf, but they're teaching him sign language. Old Man Rich and this senior guy, Freddie, who's 14 years old. Now, there's a lot more dogs. Not all of them can be around the table because they may not play well with others, uh, but that's okay. Every dog at Reverse Rescue is going to get a Bark's Giving meal today. All right. You ready to make some mashed potatoes? Yes. I brought you an apron. Ooh. I'm not scared of a little apron. Nope. We pre-made a lot of this stuff in my bakery just so that we're ready. But there are a couple elements I wanted to put together here that are really important, like mashed potatoes and gravy. Ooh. I've already peeled these, I've boiled them. Now we just gotta mash them and mix them. We've got some recipes. You don't wanna feed your dog butter and a lot of dairy, it's not good for them. But goat milk is great, so we're gonna throw a little goat milk in there. I brought a special tool so that we can whip it. Smells, I think <laughs> we burned out the motor. Mashed potatoes aren't complete without gravy. Gravy. Great gravy for dog is bone broth. Uh, Ty had a great idea. Also, we can put some turmeric in there. Yes, that's one thing we use for our dogs. So in there. And turmeric's great because it helps reduce inflammation. All right, grab the mash. I'll grab the gravy. And we on. It's Bark's giving time. is gonna be serving mashed potatoes. I'll come around with the gravy. Give me a good solid gravy boat, huh? Let's celebrate Mark's giving! Go okay. for it! Woo! <laughs> the mashed potatoes are amazing. <laughs> oh, it's not good. Oh, oh, here, break it up for She's gonna try it down. <laughs> Boy, it's your big day. Okay, I'm ready with the gravy. Big day. Ready? Oh. And go. Oh goodness. Oh, 
boy. Oh, she's doing good. Yeah. How's that first Thanksgiving yeah. going? Mm. Okay, Goliath chowing down is a big deal because he has to eat a lot, right, Ty? You have to feed him you three times a day. Three times a day, and he's a senior, so he didn't always have the appetite, right? Yep. He eats two pounds of food three times a day. Uh, hopefully today we got you covered. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good Keep boy. Going, buddy. Keep going, good boy. Okay, still to come, Big Mama gets her name. And one of my favorite things, dessert, we're gonna serve pumpkin pie. But oh, I gotta tell you, just looking at their faces when their ears drop and their tails wag, it means the world to me. I mean, look, you can see it in their face. It's like they know that this meal was made for them and they're safe and they're with friends and they're loved. And it gives me the chills to know this is likely the first time they've ever experienced family. And my hope is that someone watching this video might adopt one of these dogs from Reverse Rescue so that next year they'll have a family to call their own. Oh, good girl. Good girl, big mama. Oh, I got it. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, what's this? We have decided on a name for big mama. It is time. Okay, I'll tell you, Big Mama is definitely Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> the traffic coming through. <laughs> okay, a lot of people want to keep it Big Mama, which is mm -hmm. she can always be called Big Mama as a nickname. Yeah. But like you said, she needs an identity. She needs an identity, and that comes with her, her own name. Okay, so uh, tell me, you have the name. How did you come to the final selection? Because there are a lot of you who suggested names for Big Mama. There were a ton of names. A lot of people had really good explanations for why the names and stuff like that. I appreciate that, okay. And it's just fitting of who she is. So it just fits, you just felt that this name fits who she is? A lot of dogs, when we name them, like we try to go off stories and different stuff like that, but this just spoke, see how much she wants it right now? Like, see <laughs> she wants to know. See my name. It really just fits with her. Okay, okay, you're killing us, what is it? It is Fiona. Oh my Are you Fiona goodness. now? Fiona. Oh, Tonka loves it too. Fiona. That is perfect, Ty. Fiona Hi, is Fiona. so fitting. Oh She's my sweet. goodness. Sweet. <laughs> Look at her face. It's like she loves her name. She's always known she's a Fiona. What a good girl. Fiona has some big surgeries next week to help her heal, and now she has her own name. We love you, Fiona. This we're actually gonna make right here. Ah, Look at that. We mini pie. We pre-made him in the bakery, but I mean, that is like a treat for Goliath. So I thought we'd make a Goliath-sized pie in yes. this right here. Oh yeah, you can oh, already, you already know that's Where's coming up. Huh? Step number one, as you might guess, Pumpkin puree. Pumpkin. And pumpkin pie is actually a simple but delicious recipe. So why don't you go ahead and throw that pumpkin in there. Okay, you want, okay, you want some too? Oh, there you go. Oh, yes I do. Okay, crack an egg for me there. We're gonna do two eggs. Oh, he's got the skills. Dogs love cinnamon. Why don't you whisk that up? A pie crust. Ooh. Typically has a lot of sugar in it, a lot of salt, things that are not good for dogs. The humans love. <laughs> that, we, that we love. I have been known to eat a pie crust or two. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a solution. This is how we make it at my house. So we're gonna line the bottom. Can you help me with lining the tray? I like that. Now, we wanna put them all facing up. So we shouldn't just do <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's like a pie crust puzzle. We've got the mini bones right here, all lined. These are the bones that you can get at my store, the Dog Bakery. I bake these, um, and then they're good. You just pour the pie in there. There we go. Why don't we do a layer of bones around there too? Ty? Yes. All right, we're gonna top this off with a little cinnamon and then Goliath's pie is close to being ready. Good work, chef. Yeah. This is the pumpkin pie for all the pups. This is the Goliath-sized pie that Ty and I made. All right, Goliath, you ready?
Okay, it's time to feed the rest of the dogs at Reverse Rescue. And hey, if you want a Barksgiving meal for your dog, just go to thedogbakery.com. We do sell out fast. They are limited supply. So if you don't get there in time, you can also join the channel and get the recipe to the pumpkin pie. There's a small fee, but I'd love to have you be part of this mission where we give back to dogs. Okay, next I have some really funny bloopers to play for you, but first, let me tell you about our sponsor who helped make all this possible. I love it when you leave comments that tell me that you want to do what I do one day, because when I was growing up, there weren't a lot of people doing dog rescue. There weren't a lot of people that had pet businesses, and so the fact that you want to do that too, ah, keeps me going for sure. But I gotta tell you, it's a lot easier if you have good credit. So work at it. Check out Experian Boost, it's free. And also, hello, they're helping support me so we can go out and do things like Barks Giving for Fiona and Goliath. So help your credit score, help me, help dogs. How did I get started? How do I do this stuff? One, I'm an entrepreneur. My business at the Dog Bakery has multiple stores. We ship birthday cakes and dog treats across the nation. And I couldn't do that if I didn't have good credit. I'm blessed to be able to give back and do a lot of cool things for shelters. That's why when Experian came to me and told me about Experian Boost that helps people instantly improve their credit score, I knew it was was something that I wanted to personally try. With Experian Boost, you can instantly increase your FICO score and it's free. Here's how Experian Boost works. They give you credit for the bills you're already paying through your bank account, like gas, water, electric, cable bill, home phone, even your cell phone. It's free and easy, safe and secure, and 90% of lenders use FICO scores when they're making a decision about your credit. It was super simple. It didn't take much time at all. In fact, I just entered my information into the computer, tied in my bank account. It did all the searching for me, and the results, were awesome. Now, obviously, results may vary, and see the website for details, but the fact that most people who boost see an increase of 10 points in their credit score, it can't hurt trying. Experian Boost is exclusive to Experian, but the great thing is it's free. You don't have to put in a credit card to get started. I've been working on my credit for a while, and this is the first time that a credit bureau has allowed consumers to add their utility payment or their telephone payment to their credit file. Go check it out. Thank you for supporting me and being a part of this. Now let's go support companies who help support Dog Rescue. And hey, Fiona agrees with me that you should click the link below to boost your credit score instantly for free. It's been a while. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry, I'm grabbing that. <laughs> Goliath is stealing everyone's bark giving a meal because he doesn't need a chair so he can, you know, he can just table surf. Okay, don't forget, go follow Reverse Rescue on Instagram and a big thanks to Experian for sponsoring this video. Oh my gosh, look how messy he is. <laughs> oh wow, I mean, that's how you eat a Thanksgiving meal right there. Yeah.